pepperoni mushroom pizza. You're gonna trip balls for days. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Three Hit Combo Podcast, the world's most eventful podcast. My name is Matt, and I'm here with Tam and Andy. What's up, guys? Hey. Hi. How are you guys doing? How are you doing, more importantly? I'm doing pretty good. Recovering from surgery. Did you get any, uh, like, did they give you any pain meds? They did give me pain meds. Did they give you any, any sweet band-aids? Um, I do have, like, a big piece of taped gauze on my stomach. Ooh. Uh... Can I see of? that I've replaced a couple? You want really want to see it? Kind of. It's just gauze. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'll show you. Do you, do you know why I want to see? Why? Just, just gauze. Oh God! Oh. <laughs> my, no, I'm not showing you my wounds anymore. That Thank was you. a good setup, sir. Thank you. That was a very good setup. Thank you. Because I was like, all right, maybe, maybe he's just he's really into like into like surgery. wounds or something. Yeah, I'm or really into wounds. <laughs> So, <laughs> just like God damn, very well, well played, sir. Thank you. Well played. So, walk <laughs> us through it. Well, I mean, we haven't been here for two weeks. We should probably start, you know, at like the beginning. From the beginning. Yeah. All right. I was well, born in a log cabin, <laughs> um, out in the wilderness of, of Alaska. I thought you were. I thought you were going to say Alabama. It's going to be awesome. No, I'm out I, in the wilderness of Alabama. I was actually born in Alaska, though. Were you really? Yeah. What about the log cabin? Uh, I don't. I think I was born in a hospital. Um, <laughs> I think the hospital was called log cabin. Cabin though. Yeah, log cabin hospital. Log cabin hospital. Was it a Saturday Night Live? They did that Appalachian Hospital or Appalachian Emergency, where it's like people up in Alaska would come in. Well, if it was Appalachian, it'd be on the East Coast. Yeah. Get into your mountain ranges. <laughs> oh, that look you're given. <laughs> <laughs> So I got married. Yeah. Andy oh, I want to see the ring. Let me see the ring. Oh, yeah. Take it off. Oh, okay. Camilla's. <laughs> yeah. She's coming from the future to be like, what? Why are you taking this off? And he is. God damn, take that ring off. Dude, what do you have it screwed on? <laughs> oh, now he's single. <laughs> Why, hey? Hey. What would you do if I swallowed your only uh, physical object of love? Yeah, what would you do if you swallowed that ring right now? Well, I still have my penis, so we're okay. <laughs> it's weird it fits me better than it fits you. <laughs> you hear that, Camilla? It's not it's not supposed to like like perfectly fit. Like you're supposed to struggle a little bit. Like you don't want to like put your hand just down in like, the ring just Just like marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, marriage is no different than like just living with someone. There's well, there's nothing new. I'm not really. Surprised. Camilla, don't don't yeah. listen to this podcast. You guys have been living together for a little bit now. You've been together for a long time. I'm, yeah, so yeah. I really wasn't expecting like like the world to be new. Yeah, I but mean, the only thing that's different now is you refer to her as your wife. Is that weird? I still say lady <laughs> more than anything. My lady. Yeah, <laughs> my lady. <laughs> my woman. Yeah, my old lady. Uh. Let's see. Uh, the wedding happened. That was fun. The yeah. whole time I was walking down the steps, I was just like, fuck, 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 fuck. Apparently, I got an invite from Camilla to go to the... Yeah, I actually was like really expecting you to go. No. I, I was not prepared and I had something else planned. Something that was more important than your wedding. <clears throat> Seeking in a bathtub, masturbating, and crying. That and all my hey. tuxedo t-shirts were dirty. I was so. hoping to see you dance on the dance floor. I would have torn that shit Dude, up. This man dance. I did. I like danced a, a lot. Like a motherfucker. I can I tell how much pain up. you're in. You just you <laughs> have no expression. Yeah, I danced. It was fun and shit, I guess. <laughs> I did quite a bit of dancing. How uh, how were you at the end of the night? Like, Were you pretty drunk or were you just, just tired? Just like I was oh. just tired. I could not get drunk off of Bud Light. No, I, could I, not I do danced it. and sweat so much yeah. that I don't think I could have got drunk that night. I couldn't have gotten drunk either. I wouldn't have drank, but. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I know there was wine too, but I wasn't in the mood for a wine hangover. <laughs> no, those suck. It's like right here. It's yeah. where my wine just hangover sticks in your head. Is. Yeah. So yeah, I just uh, I just stuck to Bud Light, and I just I could not drink it fast enough to actually get drunk. <laughs> oh my god, dude! John got fucking destroyed. <laughs> he was throwing up until three thirty Monday. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah. Like, we went back to Mitch's place afterwards, mm-hmm. and um, Camille's brother came, and he bought a whole new handle of Maker's Mark. Oh. And Camille and I didn't have any. I just stuck with beer, thank God. But we left at, like, 11 because I just I couldn't stay awake. I was so tired. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I wake up in the morning with all these texts from, like, Mitch, like, well, John threw up all over the couch. And the floor. <laughs> and it just kept going. And yeah, I guess at like 2.30, he passed out and started throwing up. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, John got fucking destroyed. So when's the post-wedding bachelor party? Because <laughs> the, the original bachelor party was a blast. Yeah, it was pretty good. I'd do one again. <laughs> Oh, you're fine. I need to cough, but I can't oh, cough. No. It's okay. We'll uh, we'll. The struggle's real. It is um, real. I've started playing Texas Hold'em, and I've gotten kind of good at that. We've barely scratched the surface of that wedding. I know. <laughs> oh well, I'm sorry. Some people were coughing. I don't have anything to add to the wedding. So you two, please <laughs> gossip about the wedding. Well, why'd you start playing Texas Hold'em? Because we'll uh, it was a free app on my phone, and I. Oh. It's a cool way to earn money. And I was thinking that maybe we all three could go to the casino and go play some Hold'em one day. That'd be fun. Go drop 50 bucks. <laughs> three hit combo live tweets. We're yeah. Losing our money. Yeah. Well, in... 7 was... o'clock. We're at the casino. 7.10. We're out of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, I started with $40 in this little free app, and obviously it's fake money, so you're a little little more yeah, you get outward with it. Um, But in like two hours, I had like three grand. So <laughs> that's how they fucking know, get you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was it was against live people, so it's not like I was oh. I was playing against computers. But yeah, I've played poker online too, and it's it's quite a bit different than playing in person, though. Is it? Yeah, because you can't see the person. You, you know? can't. Yeah. Oh yeah, it takes. Sorry, I was thinking blackjack. Blackjack. I love blackjack. Blackjack's fun. We can play blackjack too. I'm cool with that. I love card games. The only downside is Blackjack is so short compared to Texas Hold'em. It's a little less strategy involved, too. Speaking of short, your wedding ceremony was pretty short. <laughs> nice segue. Yeah, it was like 11 minutes. Yeah, it was really quick. <laughs> Super quick. It was hey, awesome. do you like her? Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, like, like her. Yeah, do you like, like her? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're going to be at this for a while. Do you, are you sure? That'd be an awesome one. Just, do you like, like, her? Are you like sure? Her? <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Yeah, first of all, we never did do ghost hunting. Remember how many ghosts were in that place? Oh, yeah. I was so sure there were ghosts in there. I found a trap door. He did. He found a trap door. Yeah. Didn't even think Camille's like, you should ask the docent, the person, you know, who knows everything about the house. (laughs) Unless she's like, we don't talk about the trap door. Yeah, we don't talk about the trap door. Yeah, like we were walking around before uh, before the ceremony, like me, Eric, Mitch, and John, and we're just like... Oh, you were there with us, too. Yeah. yeah. We walked into a room, like, yeah, this is where the ghosts come from. I'm like, this is the ghost room. And we're like, yeah, they come out of the fireplace right there. I'm like, yeah, that's a good place for ghosts. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Psych. Uh, we hit a bag of bagels somewhere in the <laughs> Jocelyn Castle. If anyone could find our bagels. <laughs> <laughs> Email us at. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you hit it very well, too. I did. It. They're not going to know what's Was it in the trap bro. door? It, they're not in the trap door, no. Okay. No, but they're. I figured the trap a, door gets a lot of use. But they're in a door that you're like, why? Why is there a door to this? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. It, it's weird. Um, Andy got us dick butt mugs. Yeah, they're they're uh, when you put hot liquid in them, it changes from black to white and clear dick butt. That's pretty sweet. I like it. Mine's actually I, still in my car. Oh. <laughs> Just make sure not to dishwasher it. I won't. Because whatever film it uses to do the black to white, yeah, it yeah. ruin that shit. Um, so the ceremony was super, super quick. Yeah. Uh, nice. I didn't know Camilla's grandma totally like beefed it. I didn't know also, that either. She was wearing heels that were this fucking high. 
No shit. That that's very high for people that can't. For a seventy eight year old lady. <laughs> yeah, because we got over there right to do some pictures and the photographer. By the way, the photographer was really cool. Yeah, yeah. he was an awesome he fucking. Was, he dude. was a nice guy. Who was it? His name was Andrew Johnston. Oh, okay. But, um, he's just, he was just a cool fucking. Yeah, he was. Dude. And his I, sister was cool. I have a friend. Is was a, that his sister? Yeah. Becoming a photographer, so I was just wondering. Nice. I thought his sister was hot. Yeah, <laughs> she was cute. I think. Yeah, she was. She's single. He's totally married. His wife was there. Ah. His, that's how we got to know him. And his, his wife has been Camilla's like professor for like four years. Oh, so. so yeah, we got over there, and they're like, "Yeah, someone's injured. We're gonna have to go over here." I was like, "Oh, all right." So yeah. we went over there. And, yeah, she beefed it. She was totally fucking cool about it, though. She do a flip. <laughs> no, she just <laughs> thankfully she came out of her shoes because if she would have fell in her shoes, I'm pretty sure she would have broke stuff. But she just sprained her ankles. Uh, she left at 6 in the morning that day to go back to Texas. Really? And she could barely walk. They had to, like, wheelchair her onto the plane. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. And what sucks is uh, her husband had just had hip surgery, like, two days before. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know. Old people, they always come in twos, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're like the Sith Lords. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we took Good. some pictures. We never did take a picture of us not knowing what to do with our hands. I know. We, I know. we made that joke a lot that the groomsmen didn't know what to do <laughs> just, with their hands, so we'd be holding them like just up in like, front of us, like. What? Dude, you can you can put you can put your hands down. <laughs> yeah. Um, never did take the last supper. Yeah, I was either. just gonna say that, but that's because I we swore to God the table was gonna be long ways, but I actually yeah. kind of liked how it was because. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Um, the food was good. I'm glad I didn't get any of the appetizers. Beef was a little undercooked. Yeah, <laughs> um, and the chick with the chicken I had was dry, but apparently the appetizers were fucking insane. Yeah, the appetizers but, uh, were good. <clears throat> we found out so Camille and I didn't get any appetizers. Like they were out of them by the time we got to them. Kind of feel uh, like that shouldn't happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we found out that they did have appetizers saved for us in the back, but the Joslin staff ate them all. Uh, so what, Camilla's bitches? Like, Camilla was like, when I went back there and asked the staff if there was any more food, they all looked really sad. I didn't know why. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> so we got an email, like, Wednesday from the caterer that she found out what happened. So on Monday, after uh, Camilla gets out of school, she's going to go get, like, they're going to make appetizers for us. Oh. That's so real fucking they, cool. Yeah, so then we can just take them home and heat them up and everything. Yeah, so that seems was a little really... after the fact, but that's that's yeah. good customer service on their part. Yeah, yeah. so that was really cool. Um, um, the bartender was a douche. Yeah, I wanted to pop at like at three. The bar opened at three thirty, and uh, because you know it, he's like, oh, I could open early, but I'd have to close early, and yeah. it's like, and dude, like, the groom just wants a fucking soda. Can I just give you two dollars and you stick it in your pocket? Would that be okay? I, know. I was just like, come on, bro. But that's alright. How about someone gave me water? So I was like, oh yeah. That's right. I I'd also taken two sprites prior. Anyway, so oh really? I just walked by and was like, "Boop." <laughs> That's funny. Nice. Because my mentality was like, "That sprite is mine." <laughs> it really it is. Yeah, <laughs> you're um, paying for it all. So we ended the night with seven beers left in the whole thing. Really? They brought enough to serve a hundred. Like what was it? It's like four cans for every person. So. And there were only like twenty people at your wedding, right? Yeah, there, was, there, <laughs> there was a lot of people. One f- there had to be 150. There's no way. Oh, there okay. Was less than that, and there so. just wasn't any room for 151. <laughs> we invited I'm going to be salty forever. You did not invite me to the wedding. You invited me to the after party. I wanted to cry for your 11-minute wedding. Okay? There wasn't enough yeah, time. Wasn't that's enough that's time like cry. that's like Oh, I'm going to the Super Bowl, but you can come to the tailgate party beforehand. Don't come to the game itself, but come to the celebration beforehand. Dude, tailgate for a Super Bowl would be fucking boss. Just eat not hot even dogs in- and get shitty? Not even interested. <laughs> just, get, just become a shittier person. Yeah. Just not even interested now. Uh, so Mitch gave us all dares. Oh, yeah. That's what was fun. yours? You don't know what mine was? Wasn't it grind on? Yeah, it was to grind yeah. on your sister. <laughs> How was that? Did I get accomplished? I don't know. And I kind of blurred at the end. Not really. All right. Well, that's good. You're okay. Um, oh. Geez. <laughs> did it happen? No. Did you see <laughs> Did you see Mitch, Mike, my dad, and yes. someone else grinding on my mom? Yes. Yes, I did. They, like, trapped my mom in the middle, and they were all just my I mom. I also saw Mitch and your dad grinding on Paige. 
Oh, oh, Marissa, I don't even give a fuck. Um, Mitch totally banged Paige that night. Oh. Paige didn't uh, have her ride home, so Mitch was like, you could, you could just stay the night. And I don't know where in their mind that, oh, she can just sleep in the bed. Nothing's gonna happen. And they're both <laughs> drunk as shit, so. Yeah. But Mitch was like, he's like two minutes in, he's like, whiskey dick. He's like, ah. <laughs> so he's like, I went to sleep. <laughs> Nice. But that is, I was like, that is something we will never tell Marissa. Unless she listens to the podcast. And this is the first time she listens to the podcast. Yeah. I fucking highly doubt she listens Um, to it. But yeah, so so some other dares. Um, Veronica was supposed to have sex somewhere in the castle. What if she's like, like under the surface, she's like, I just want to be, I just want his approval so bad. Andy, I just want you to like me. And then you tell the story, she's just crushed. She's just, just. I don't know what to do. I do my best. <laughs> I did my best. Stop well, making her, it sad. Yeah, her best sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Still love her. She's my Damn. sister, but. So, yeah. So, uh, Meryl <laughs> had to steal something from the castle. I don't know if she did. She didn't. Ah, oh, bitch. And oh, then yeah. John had to photobomb his main pictures. As <laughs> oh, yeah. And he almost got the best one. Did he? When you guys were cutting the cake, yeah, you know how there was a window behind you. Yeah, <laughs> Mitch and I were like, "John, you need to go around to that window and like oh. pop up behind him." <laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> but it was locked off; he couldn't get in there. Oh, uh, damn! <laughs> but he tried. He tried. Yeah, uh, he left. And it's the thought that counts. God, would've that would have been. Because so he was just gonna be like waving in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have even been mad. That would have been so fucking funny. It would have been. It would have been. Would awesome. Camilla have been mad? No. Okay. No. She she feels the same way about John. Just John's a goofy fucking dude. <laughs> He's a good guy. Uh, did you have any cake? No. Not so bad. Well, next time I wasn't really planning on having. Nah, cake, okay. though. Did you want some? Yeah. Right. We have wedding cake. You still have wedding cake? Is that what you said? I have a I have a cake and a half. You have a cake and a half. I <laughs> bought. I bought more than enough. <laughs> you live close to Tam. Maybe you should give him a slice of cake. You know, to make oh. up for the fact that he didn't get to go to your wedding. Yeah. Right, Tam? <laughs> <laughs> no! I don't, I don't know anymore. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you're hurt. That's cool. Uh, there was a lot of That's dancing. Cool. There'll be another wedding, I guess. I, I think I've literally... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Camilla. That's, that's I'm right. sorry. <laughs> I think I've literally done all my dancing in my life that night. Yeah, I danced so fucking much. My I clapped so much, my hands hurt for three <laughs> days afterwards. Jesus. Yeah, that's how fucking just I was like ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wedding gifts, dude. Getting married. Wedding gifts is like worth getting fucking married. <laughs> we got bought two Keurig machines. <laughs> I don't. We're, we're returning. We have like a pile to return to Bed Bath and Beyond. It's insane. That's cool. But yeah, it's crazy. I'm like, look at all these fucking gifts. Oh my god. That's insane. Yeah, and the money. The money's awesome. We saved it for our honeymoon. Nice. Yeah. So we just gotta go. Italy again. Probably Italy and London. Just they're a train ride apart. That's cool. Right. Um, they might be a flight apart. Yeah, they're definitely not a train ride yeah. apart. It's like, considering the English channels right there. Yeah, that that's what I thought. I was like, wait, there's the channel, so yeah. what about the channel? Is there a train channel? I have no fucking clue. I think it'd be scary scary as fuck to get trapped in the channel. Yeah, that would be scary. Yeah. Well, there's an ocean or a channel above me. Yeah. No biggie. You are fucked. Though I mean if it breaks. If it breaks through and you're somehow able to swim up, it's not as deep as an ocean, so you actually might make it up. Yeah, and maybe. Hold your breath, yeah. And then you're stuck in the middle of the English Channel. Yeah. Yeah, and that's some rough waters. <laughs> yep. That fucking sucks. Uh, yeah, dancing, drink a lot of beer. Got married. And Mitch Bang Page. Yeah, Mitch Bang Page. <laughs> and that was that. Yeah. All right, onward. Uh, how was your week? Yeah, how was your week? My week? Yeah. My week was, uh, uh, you talking about this past week or the week before? Or both? Both. Both weeks? Yeah. Uh, it was pretty good. My 
boss has gone to China for two weeks during the most stressful week of the month. So that was cool. Um, Why the most stressful week? Uh, at work, we have progress checks, and so every single student comes in to the door in between two days. And the Tuesday before, he's like, okay, bye. <laughs> Why did he go to China? What? Why did he go to China? Um, he went to China, and I can tell all of you guys because nobody listens to this podcast. Uh, nobody, nobody from my work, sorry. <laughs> sorry, everyone who's listening, <laughs> you bunch of nobodies. Uh, <laughs> um, we... Uh, he asked permission from his instructor, who's like a ninth degree black belt, to teach his instructor's art form. It's also like a nice two-week vacation. He also is being asked to be adopted by him, which is <laughs> it's just kind of kind of interesting. What? Yeah, um, all right. it's it's some Asian thing. I'm not I'm not actually sure all the details, hmm. but there's like a 11 hour time difference. He called me. Uh, he he FaceTimed me last night, and it was like. 8 o'clock, and he goes, yeah, it's 7 a.m. here. Uh, I was like, whew, that sounds Damn. rough. Um, the week beforehand, it was it was like nothing happened. It wasn't eventful at all. Um, yesterday, not yesterday, the day before at like midnight, I got the Smash for 3DS demo. How long did that take to download? Because I bet half the United States was trying to get that shit. Um... It took longer than I thought. It took at least 20 minutes. I was watching Game Grumps. I got two episodes in and then played it. So Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got a... Uh, my sister gave us an iPad. And I've been playing the fuck out of that thing. What? This fucking guy. What? Her best isn't good enough. Yeah, so my sister gave us an yeah. iPad. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't listen. <laughs> Just because he doesn't listen doesn't make it not okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell her to listen to this episode. Oh, I'm going to tell her to listen to this episode. Gonna... I don't even know She's her. She's going through like a midlife crisis right now for some odd reason. A midlife crisis? How old is Let she? Let me rephrase that. She's just going through a life crisis right now. How old is she? So you're saying I could have grinded on her. 20. He doesn't know how old his sister is. Look at him. 23. 23? Yeah. At one point I didn't know how old my sister was, but that was, you know, in high school. I just had to do the math really quick. <laughs> hand banana. Hand banana. <laughs> <laughs> Carry the one and the uh, fucking pancakes. What? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that I hope that was more of a verb, not an adjective. <laughs> <laughs> so you're weak then, Matthew. Are you? Oh uh, yeah, my week was uneventful. Let's go into gaming news. All oh, right. Shut <laughs> your <phone. laughs> uh, so I mean, the week was fine. I just I just worked, and then on Wednesday night, I started getting bad stomach pains. Ah, it sucks. Like, this was it just like, like, right, like right. yeah. All right. And so, so Thursday I went to work and like, it was to the point where I had trouble like standing up all the way. Oh. I was just like, oh god, what the fuck is going on, you know? And so, um, first four hours of work were actually training for something, and so I just had to sit in a classroom. And then, the last four hours of work, I just slacked off really hard. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think. One of my friends took like 36 calls and I took like 11. Oh, damn. Because <laughs> I was just like, I hurt really bad. I'm just like, oh, God, I'm going to go into a break. Oh. And then so <clears throat> I get off of work and I, I come home and I'm like, I'm kind of on the fence on whether or not I need to take care of this now. And so like I go lay in bed and I'm like, all right, I'm just going to going to go to sleep and see if I feel better in the morning. And then about, I don't know, 15 minutes later, I'm like. Yeah, I'm going to go to the emergency room. Oh. So, I wake up my mom, who, sorry mom, apparently didn't have much of a sense of urgency, because <laughs> I waited on the couch for so fucking long. Oh. It was only five minutes, but your stomach, like, <laughs> changed your perception of time. Yeah. <laughs> so She was literally running in the house. You're like, <laughs> hurry up, woman! <laughs> See, here's the thing is, like, I, I don't know if she was completely convinced that something was wrong with my appendix, because she'd be like... Yeah. But you'd be thrown up. You'd be doubled over, over, doubled over in pain. But here's another thing. I broke my leg one time, and I didn't know for a week. <laughs> because people were like, you wouldn't be walking on it. You wouldn't be walking on it. It would hurt too much. So I don't have the best pain registry, I guess. Huh. So I'm like, you know, it could still be appendicitis. So I go into the ER. Um, I wasn't in the waiting room long before they took me back. That's nice. Yeah, I, w I wasn't there long. Um, then they hooked me up to an IV and took my blood. And they were going to do a blood test first. And then um, <coughs> they gave me a scan. 
they the dye, the contrast dye they put in you, yeah, made me feel like I was on fire for about twenty seconds. Oh, she's like, you're gonna feel really warm. I'm like, okay, and then she put it in. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I'm literally burning alive. Yeah, what did you do to me? Yeah, <laughs> ISIS is back. <laughs> they also uh, needed a urine sample from me, which apparently they didn't even use. <laughs> they just so I peed in a cup for nothing. So wanted you to pee in a cup, man. Yeah, is that nurse hot? <laughs> Apparent. She was hot. The she wanted to really pee. Hot. Yeah. yeah there she, more she wasn't physically going there. I just walked into a bathroom and did it. She was I, there. That you think. In she was spirit. looking through that door thing in the day. I had to carry the yeah. little fucking pole thing with me, though. That's uh, the thing with, like, the bag of saline on it. Yeah, I kept running over my toes with that. <laughs> oh. So I, I so I get back in my room, and then the, the surgeon comes in, and he looks really concerned. I'm like, hey. Hey, guys. What's up? And he's like... So, uh, you know, we did your scan, and uh, it does look like you have um, acute inflammation of the appendix. Okay. He's like, and, you know, the only cure for that is surgery. (laughs) He's like, so we're going to get you in a room upstairs. And then, here's the kicker. He's like, also, um, we noticed that you have a small nodule on your lung. I'm like, back up. (laughs) (laughs) What about my lung? (laughs) And he's like, yeah, you have a, a little mass on your lung. He's like, we're not too concerned about it, but, you know, you should probably get an x ray every six months or so. Like, whoa. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's, right now, that is more concerning. <laughs> you couldn't have, like, texted me that after my surgery or something like that? <laughs> to, to be honest, Doctor, I'm not even worried about those two things. This, uh, this little wheelie thing keeps stubbing my toes. <laughs> yeah. Is there any way we could get this fixed first? <laughs> so they wheeled me on up. Oh, by the way, so I, I got to the emergency room about one in the morning. That's about... It's about four in the morning that they're wheeling me up to a room. Did you go, cause you're wheeling on up, wheel. I was singing moving on up in my head. That's awesome. Moving on up, moving on up. So we get into this nice room. Much better than the... Which, uh, room. you were at Lakeside, Lakeside, right? yeah. That's a nice yeah. hospital. So we get in this room, and I definitely cannot sleep. I didn't sleep at all. Man, with a stub toe that bad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mom slept for a little bit, but uh, they kept offering me morphine from, like, the moment I got there. So, like, at, at, like, one when, you know, I was, like, I was hurting, but I was, like, no, I'm okay right now. You know, I don't I don't need morphine right now. And, like, a couple hours later, you need morphine? I'm, like, no, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Well, about, like, 5.30 in the morning, it was really starting to set in, oh. and they're, like, you doing okay? Need anything for pain? I'm, like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Give me morphine. <laughs> and then it happened. Doesn't it work quick? It does work yeah. quick. But it also wore off pretty quick, really? I felt. Yeah. They probably gave you a really light dose, though. Yes. So they gave me some morphine, and then, like, I was eligible for more in two hours. And I think it was, like, three hours later I got some more. Um, I don't remember ever having morphine. Doesn't it feel cold when they inject you? Yeah. It feels heavy, like, when it yeah. hits you. I it's feel, a, it's a th- feel like, boom, like, like. Well, morphine's a really thick liquid. Yeah. Um, Which is weird they put it in the bloodstream. Yeah. So, I'm laying there in bed, and I think at this point, my mom went home to charge my phone and stuff like that and get get my contacts case and stuff, because I still have my contacts, and I had to take oh. those out before surgery. Um, then my dad came by around, like, 8-ish and brought my phone back and my tablet. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then... Well, it was pretty uneventful from there. I just kind of waited until... Did they have good Wi-Fi? The surgery time. Yeah. Really? Yeah, my signal strength is actually excellent. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, uh, I tried to watch TV, but there was not a fucking thing on, so... I saw football in the corner of one of your pictures, though. You like football? Yeah, I watched a lot of Sports Center for a while. Yeah. Um, so, basically, I was just waiting until it was time to go. Then uh, they bring me down around, like, 9.30 and start getting me ready, hooking me up to, like, every fucking machine in the world. I was like, god damn. Like, it's this just is a, a stub toe. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is a routine procedure. Imagine if I was getting, like, a transplant. How many machines I bet it's be hooked insane up to? Yeah. for a transplant. They asked me about five billion fucking questions. I bet. Well, was it a bunch of like, are you allergic to this? Have you done well, this it was before? it was that stuff too. Then it was like family medical history. Then even oh. stuff like, are you right or left handed? Huh. Really? Yeah. Hmm. 
You wake up after the surgery and you're suddenly left-handed. You're like, what the <laughs> fuck? Um, Thanks for being part of this experimental surgery. Uh, Psych. <laughs> not appendicitis. <laughs> after I after I got up, one of my friends was like, "So how are you adjusting to life as a woman?" <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, they asked me a bunch of questions. Brought me down. Now the stuff they gave me for pain before surgery, yeah, was the best. Oh, I bet it was like. It uh, it was stuff. the best fucking shit. Because <laughs> I was supposed to have surgery at eleven, and it's pushing eleven thirty, and I'm you know, I'm in pretty good pain. And so I was just like, I called the nurse. I'm like, do you know when I'm gonna be going back? And she's like, oh yeah, he the surgeon apparently just left another hospital like downtown. I was like, okay, well in that case, can I get something for pain? Because I was kind of waiting until I went back. But she's like, yeah, definitely. And so she's like, all right, I gave you I gave you a little bit. How you feeling? And she asked my pain level before. <laughs> she asked my pain level before, and I said like an eight. And so she's like, "Okay." So she gave me a little. She's like, "How you feeling now?" I'm like, "Oh, it's about a four. She's like, "Do you want the rest?" I'm like, "Yeah." Fuck yes. Yes, I yes. do. And so she gave it to me again, and then she goes, "How's your pain level now?" And I said, "Negative five. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't hurt at all. That's awesome. They gave you. Do the you good want shit. the rest? <laughs> Yeah, don't hunt out on me. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? My appendix is the size of a of a softball. <laughs> Did they say how big it was, or do you get to see them? No. I do didn't you get to keep it. it? No, I definitely didn't get to keep it. Why? In fact, it was even in one of the things I had to sign that they were gonna toss it. Ah! Oh. I thought I had to sign before I had surgery. You had to sign. Well, I want to know how. Give me surgery if I didn't sign it. Why? Why couldn't Why couldn't you just like you crossed out one line and you know been like keep? It took me a while to realize, but hospitals are totally businesses. They're not. Oh yeah. Oh they're yeah. They're not out there to look at. Oh yeah. You. She was also telling me what vaccines I qualify for, and I'm I'm like I feel like I'm being sold vaccines yeah. right now. It's and, just it's fucking weird to think they take yeah. care of you, but it's a total. Fucking and she's like, you business. qualify for a flu shot? Do you want a flu shot? I'm like, I'm getting one next week, so no. And she's like, what about a pneumonia vaccine? I'm like, no, no. And then she mentioned a tetanus booster, and I was like, it's probably been a long time since I've had a tetanus booster. Yeah, I so I was like, you know what? Yeah, give me the tetanus booster. Nice. nice. I thought they were going to give it to me like while I was out, yeah. but no, they gave it to me like right before I left. Oh, okay. Um, that's, still, that's still a good idea, though, because yeah. I don't remember the last time I had a tetanus shot. Yeah. I've never had a tetanus shot. You should get on that, dude. Tetanus yeah. is fucking scary. Yeah. I'm way scarier than tetanus. <laughs> I'd scare the your, shit out of your tetanus. Your shit locks up, dude. Yeah. Like, you, yeah, your shit locks up. I'm sure I've had a tetanus shot, but, like, I'm not a real adult. I don't know when. <laughs> I'm sure my parents are responsible enough to get me a tetanus shot. I've jumped doctors so many times because my mom's fickle that I don't know who has my records. So I don't <laughs> know. That's fun. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. This week. <laughs> so, yeah. So they uh, brought me back. Last thing I remember was getting put on the actual surgery table when I was like, out. Did they, uh, was it mask out or? It was mask. It was mask. Yeah. Dude, that shit knocks you out so fast. Yeah, they knocked you out really fast. And then I remember, here's the thing that sucks, um, is like, you're already kind of like woozy, you know, when you wake up in the recovery room. Yeah. But the thing is, I never, this and when I got my tonsils out, I don't have my glasses on. So I'm like even more like a dream because I can't see a fucking thing. It's all blurry. <laughs> That's I'm, funny. I'm just like, I remember being like, I am super fucking nauseous. <laughs> and they gave oh. me something for nausea. And I was like, is it normal for my mouth to be this dry? And he's like, yeah, do you want an ice chip? I'm like, yes. An ice chip? Yeah. It could have water. I don't know. They just gave me an ice chip. Oh. It probably didn't want me drinking water at that time. I was pretty, out. I was pretty out of it. <clears throat> she I, can't comprehend drinking water. I remember falling back asleep and then I woke up and my sister was in my room. Hey, did you go to that workout? Yeah, the ab workout yeah. afterwards. No, I didn't make it to the ab <laughs> workout. Why not? Uh, the three incisions in my stomach, that's why. Josh, <laughs> well, Josh, man, he told me after uh, on Friday, he's like, hey, tell Matt, Pete's came back to work 36 hours after a appendectomy. <laughs> well, I didn't have to work, so. <laughs> I know, it just I thought it was really funny. I was like, that was a throwback to a ball. Because wasn't it you and her would try to work when you were like incredibly fucked up? Oh yeah, I worked with like pneumonia before yeah. and shit like that. Yeah, and she's worked. Jeez. She's worked with like just incredible. Like the appendectomy, she came back. But has she worked with a stubbed toe? <laughs> I pulled that joke all the way back. 
I could have, by the time I left the hospital, there's probably about three hours left in my shift at work. I could have probably shown up. Were they, are they pretty, anybody? are they pretty cool about yeah. that? Like, well, I have, appendectomy is a big thing, but are they still yeah. pretty cool about if you're actually like sick? Yeah. That's nice. So I woke up, um, I had bandages on me. Did you wake up at home? No. <laughs> That'd be scary. Yeah. Was it all a dream? No, I woke up in the hospital. <laughs> Woke up in the hospital, and I actually started feeling pretty good. And then, so they had like most. The, he said like mostly people stay another night, yeah. um, but I was really trying to leave because I wanted to go home. No, yeah, no one wants to be. So like there was like requirements for me, like I had to be up for a little while, and like I had to I had to eat some food, I had to eat a meal, and then I had to get up and walk around. What'd you eat? Uh, I had a salad and some tea. Nice. Yeah. So uh, makes up for the ab workout. <clears throat> right. So I was just kind of sitting there at first, and there was some Jello. I'd eat the Jello first. It was a good Jello. Yeah, it was right. Mm. And cherry and lime. So nice. <laughs> you made it sound like it was a hassle. God, yeah. there was Jello there. I'd eat the Jello first, and then, <laughs> the, Ugh, then, Jell-O. then the nurse came in, and he told me like, "Hey, here's the menu. You know, whenever you're ready." And so I did that, and I ate, and I, I had to because of the anesthesia and having a breathing tube. I had a really hard time swallowing. Oh, uh, I so, bet because it, it's all like irritated. Mm-hmm, so every time I took a bite. I had to wash it down with something, so I drank a lot of water. <laughs> did you get to pee in one of those jug <laughs> things, or did you, did you get up and just pee? I got up. Uh, I got up. And that's when I found out they shaved me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they shaved my abdomen. I look like a 10-year-old boy. <laughs> Let me see. That's, Let's, you want to see my shaved I do want to see. You, you know why? A man's Just goss. <laughs> you want to you wanna see I do want to see shaved the shaved abdomen, abdomen okay. which I think is randomly weird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is smooth. That's a big bandage. That's bigger than I thought. Because I thought it was just a little incision for an appendix. Oh, there is a little incision on this side, a little incision on oh. the bottom side, and then they like stick a camera on your belly button. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh! And that's where the big one is. And they stick a camera in your belly button. That's <laughs> Yeah, we got a bloody belly button. It was oh, just no, gauze, just gauze. <laughs> it's under the gauze. You want to see the bloody belly no, button? I d- no, that's so fucking. <laughs> Andy's like Andy's hurting over there. All right, want some of my pain meds. No, yeah, how much you selling are, them for? Those are way too fun. Yep. So uh, you can make like a hundred bucks on those too. Pop. Probably. Don't sell. Use them for yourself. But <laughs> street street knowledge. So yeah. <laughs> So I ate some food and then I got up and walked around a little bit, and then uh, what's up? Water? Do you want me to get you a water? No, no, no. I I can get him. I was asking if you guys wanted, but I was trying to just do it with symbols so we didn't oh, have to have oh, this okay. conversation on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll have a water. Yeah, I'd love a water. Right. Thanks. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. Make a little bit more, more noise. <laughs> Um, oh, one one of the weird things. Oh, Tam just took Andy's spot. Yeah. Is it warm? New mic. It is warm. One of the weird things I had to do is like, first of all, they gave you like right after they told me I had to have surgery, um, they gave me like IV antibiotics, you know, just to like clean out any harmful bacteria that I might have. Mm-hmm. And then they brought in these wipes, and I had to go like wipe my body down with these disinfectant wipes. Like your whole body? Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, so they brought these these wipes in, and they were warm too. And they're like, they're like, yeah, you gotta get, you know, this is to get the germs off you and stuff before you have surgery. Well, and the funny thing is, they offered to do it. They're like, do you need help? Do you want us to do it? And I'm like, <laughs> where was that hot nurse from before? <laughs> Where's like, she at? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I would have taken. And I, I had to do that twice. Oh damn. Yeah. Did it a couple hours apart. And then yeah, so I was getting ready to leave. During surgery, did they give you a warm blanket? They gave it to me before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never knew how awesome a warm blanket was till they gave me one. Yeah, it's it's really nice. And then uh, I was getting ready to leave, and uh, I was waiting on my dad to show up to take me home. You hear a knock on my door. I'm like, oh, I wonder who that could be. It was Meryl. Yeah. <laughs> she works there. Yeah. Yeah. She. Uh, she's did like, you just hear the knock, knock? Ah! <laughs> hey, man. Uh, I heard a knock and I was actually I just gotten up and so I was like yeah come in and then I heard another knock what the hell? so I went open the door and I was like oh hey what's up 
could came over and part. <laughs> no, the only person that came and saw me was Meryl. I know. I do actually. It's feel okay. Bad. There'll be another appendectomy for you. I do feel bad that I did this. I do. At least Man, this is just this should just be called the Shame on Andy podcast. <laughs> Shame on Andy. If you notice, we changed the posters behind you. Did you really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I put a lot of work into those. So, I should really make a new one for you. Yeah. Just send, make send me, me a, a small little cutout and put me on Skylar's shirt. But I want to use Illustrator. I never right. get to use Illustrator. That's fine. I'm not going to tell you how to do your job. So yeah, appendectomy sucks. How much time are we at? Probably a good 40 minutes. 40 minutes exactly. 40 yes. minutes exactly. Do we want to speed through? Uh, uh, yeah, there's some game and stuff. We can speed through that. All yeah. right. Let's go. Cut out tech. Ba-boom. Let the games begin. Peasant consoles or glorious PC master race. Choose your side. You know what she did for fun when she was your age? She pushed a hoop with a stick. This is gaming. What'd you say? With a stick. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Um, yeah, you know what? I could totally cut out gaming news. The only cool thing is the new Oculus Rift version. Oh, yeah, the yeah. something bay. Yeah, Crescent Bay. Or Crescent Bay. Like uh, Damn, I haven't heard anything about this. <laughs> it's cool. It's a platform now. It's not just the Oculus Rift. It's an actual, like, gaming platform now. That's so that's cool. cool. They got, like, 130 developers. Uh, have you seen the new DSs with the little stick? The C stick? Yes. Are you going to get one? Well, Do they even come to the U.S.? They've not been announced just, for the U.S. Oh, yet. Oh, fucking lame. Yeah. It'll come to the U.S. I'm sure it will, but... Maybe when Smash launches? When Smash launch? Uh, The newest, like, 3DS Smash? Yeah. It's going to be out the 1st of October. So, oh, okay, so that's too soon. Yes. Unless they do a surprise, like, psych. Uh, doubtful. Very doubtful. I would consider getting the Smash 3DS if they did a bundle like that. Um, There is a Smash 3DS bundle that's coming out. Um, but it is not the little C stick one. It's oh, just see, a regular I one. I like the C stick one. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Tokyo Game Show. Did you see Final Fantasy gameplay? I did not. Looks fucking insane. It's the game that should have came out like nine years ago. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Final Fantasy 15 looks beautiful. And cool. It, and the gameplay looks really fun. So that's nice. It's not. It's like Kingdom Hearts gameplay. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's the Kingdom Hearts uh, studio. Huh. Because once they fucking finish this, they can actually finally finish Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. They skipped a whole generation. That's like 10 years of not a video game. Mm. That's fucking sad. It's a long time. So Microsoft bought Mojang for $2.5 oh, billion. Yeah. Dollars. Fuck. I was kind of sad about that. I was like, man. It's kind of like the end of an era. You know? Yeah, they were like the mega indie company. I'm more... I'm more sad, like for Notch himself. Yeah, did you he, guys, you saw the the red, heard about the letter, right? That he wrote, yeah, the tweet or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, he was basically like, because of all the backlash that I've gotten for everything, the whole point of me doing this is not to make a successful game. I don't, I didn't want Minecraft to be as big as it was. It's yeah. not what I wanted. I wanted to make fun games. Mm-hmm. He just so wants to make games. It's not, it's not about the money. It's about my sanity. Like right. quote. And he's like, I don't, I don't expect to make anything bigger than Minecraft. I don't want to make anything. I want to make fun games that me and my buddies can play. Mm-hmm. He's got but, enough money; he can do it. Yeah, now. he can do it now. Sure. Well, there's, there's that thing, and he's like, he doesn't want to be big anymore. But mm-hmm. I mean, you look at his Twitter followers; he's got a, he's got a bajillion. He's got so many Twitter followers that no matter what he puts his name on next, do you think it'll be a huge hit? Even if it's a he's pile of like, garbage, people are gonna buy it. He's kind of like Cliffy B. He has that name. In the game industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, gaming. Uh, the cool news about that, is, though, is um, they were scheduled to have a uh, the PS4 and the Vita version. Those are still going to come out. They yeah, were they were in that's development. Cool. So they Microsoft said it's cool you can have those, but I don't know. After that, probably not going to update them ever. Yeah. <laughs> And there was a rumor of it coming out for the Wii U, but that's probably done. Yeah, <laughs> um, that'll be ten years later. Uh, I'm excited though for the PC support that my that Minecraft will have now that it's got a big backing. Like mods might actually finally get an API, and they'll be easy to install. 
that would be the greatest fucking thing in the world. I guess like the bad thing is is in my apparently there are like entire servers for Minecraft. Oh yeah. So like, you pay some other place to have a server for Minecraft. Well, if Microsoft is big enough, it could just take all of those over. Yeah. And be like, well, we have big enough servers that we can actually support everybody, so you don't have to go through these little sublet servers anymore. Which that's crappy because mods. Yeah. Oh. Um, I'm trying to think of other. I know the Tokyo Game Show is this past week. Uh, Harmonix is closing down the Rock Band network. Yeah. I thought that'd be a lot sooner. <laughs> yeah. That how, game came and went. How would you guys feel about another Rock Band? Like if they like really jazzed it up and made it not the exact same game? Yeah. I don't know. I would really have to like see it. I don't, I couldn't imagine it because I enjoyed Rock Band one and two very much. Very very. Like, yeah, I spent the most money on Rock Band 2, downloading songs. But that was something that a group of our friends, we all we all did, is we all, like, we did the, like, endless set list. We got, like, a group of ten people together, and any time we'd want to tag out, we would just tag out. All of us could play all the instruments, and we just nice. powered through it in one setting. It was, I mean, it was, it was fun. It was a group activity, but it kind of, it kind of is reminiscent of that whole... It's old. Living room multiplayer. Yeah. Like... We're in the age where we don't want I to talk to each other. I considered bringing it to the apartment, but I didn't know how loud it would honestly be. And I don't want to be that neighbor, so. Yeah. Uh, 343 Industries offers Halo 5 beta rewards for watching Halo Nightfall. What is Halo Nightfall? It is their live-action series. That From the studio to. that Microsoft closed. <clears throat> yep. Like, not even a year later. So if you watch that, you can get benefits. They don't say what benefits yet, but apparently they will be transferable to the full game when it comes out. Huh? I totally forget that 343 is behind Halo 5. <laughs> and Saints Row creative director leaves Volition for Valve. That's cool. Because Valve never gets any... Well, I guess they don't get anyone, but Valve's been... They haven't recruited anyone in a long time. Yeah. What has Valve done recently? Dota. Yeah, Dota 2, yeah, Dota. That's oh, okay. and updating the fuck out of Team Fortress. Oh, yeah. Yeah. More hats. Yeah. So Team Fortress is, oh, it's it's not what it used to be. It's fucking sad. I'll tell you what they haven't done. Half-Life 3. Half-Life 3. Half-Life 3. So I saw <laughs> there was a top picture on Reddit the other day, and it was like, Half-Life 3 confirmed in Counter-Strike Go. And on the bomb, when they type in the numbers, there's HL3, and someone was like, it's, it's real. <laughs> Those are the fucking greatest. That's I cool. like the I like the uh, Hoenn confirmed. Those are my favorite. Oh yeah, jokes. I, I saw that from mm. Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. Essentially the same thing as Half Life, but it was Hoenn. Like you can look at all these Pokemon games, like a like a huge picture, and, like it all boils down to the Hoenn region confirmed. Oh, okay. but has it ever been confirmed? It is confirmed. That's oh. the newest Pokemon game that's coming out. They're oh, remaking, really? They're remaking oh, it. Oh, my so God. So the internet exploded when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that explains. What are the new ones called? X, no. Omega. Ah! <laughs> Omega. <laughs> Those are the two versions. Yep. That's po- it. Pokemon ah! and Pokemon. Ah! <laughs> have to say it like yeah. that. <laughs> they ran out of colors and shapes and letters and numbers. Yeah, it was... Something Sapphire and Ruby. I was really... They need to remake Red. And then the third version is... They have. Fire Red? They have Fire Red. Yeah, but, like... Go on. I want, like... I guess I just want, like, a a good... Like, a big one. Pokemon the... (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Dude, they would have so much... They would have my money if they made a Pokemon MMO. Holy fuck. I still... I would just throw a wallet at screen. I would love that, too. Skylanders. If if they if they came out with... I mean, and they can now because of this whole amiibo thing. If they did all the Pokemon figures as amiibos, and that little amiibo that you carried around was the Pokemon... Fucking... Ugh. Yeah. They could... Ugh. Or, I mean, the 3DS has a, a pretty, pretty solid platform now. I don't know about online-wise, but... Fuck. The new 3DS that's gonna have that little yeah. little stick is gonna be amiibo capable. Nice. So you can you you could take and whenever you open it up, you can bloop, put your amiibo figure on it, and it'll talk to it. 
Yeah. It's pretty insane. All right, gaming. Is that it? Yeah, that was gaming news. Yeah. All right! <laughs> All right, let's go into news. News! Time for the main event. Let's get it on! It's time for the three hit combo newscast. Let's go for the gold, Johnny! Really quick, was that Skyler singing that song on Facebook on the karaoke thing? No, I don't think so. Okay. I think it was tagged in it. Okay, because I really was listening. I'm like, that sort of sounds like Sky, but I don't know. I know okay. he used to do karaoke a lot when he was in Chicago. I think that was his Chicago buddies going, look at no. some karaoke. I sang karaoke uh, on Friday. It nice. was fucking awesome. I know this isn't news, but... Have you ever yeah. been to Mike's? I have not. I want to oh. find... I went to Applebee's. Applebee's you, does karaoke? Yeah. You can't curse at Applebee's. So I'm like, can I have this song? They're like, no. Yeah. Share up. <laughs> Mike's you can. Yeah? Yeah. It's 120th and Pacific. Fuck yes. <laughs> three, hit, three hit combo. Get loaded. Three hit combo. And... Three hit karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> Just do a Backstreet Boys song. I was trying to do Eminem. <laughs> oh, God. I can't rap that. A Pennsylvania man has been charged with making three 911 calls to report bogus emergencies because he was lonely and wanted paramedics to show up. Oh. To help his broken heart. <laughs> he called 911 three times over about four hours, uh, July 30th, with various false complaints. Oh, poor guy. He just Why didn't he go to Mike's? I, I don't know. Maybe because he was in Pennsylvania. I'm sure there's a place Mike's called Mike's. Mike's our nationwide chain of karaoke bars. Is it really? No. I have not. A model with very large fake breasts wants another enlargement. Why? What is Nicki Minaj doing? <laughs> she said she wants... To <laughs> <laughs> Took a second there. <laughs> yeah, it did. She said she actually... She literally said she wants to look silly. Okay. <laughs> she has a bra size of 8M. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, I almost died. She said, quote, I want to look silly and I want to be huge. Why do chicks with, like, enormous tits like that, they never look, like, yeah. good? She said she's addicted to boob jobs and has gone up 18 bra sizes. Motherfucker. Does it say what she started at, then? 17. No, oh, oh like no. bra size? <laughs> bra size? Um, don't know. Whatever the average bra size is for 17, I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, 32 double C. Step in the dark here. What? You got enough of that? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm, re I'm reading. Re they weigh almost 12 pounds. <laughs> she could, she could smother a little dog with her breasts. Just <laughs> nice baby. My tits weigh more than that. Wait, so do they weigh 12 pounds each? I don't know. I mean, read, read the sentence. Huge, well, the mirror dude. calculated that her oversized implants weigh almost 12 pounds. Yeah, that's confusing. Yeah, that's so confusing. Because I'm, I'm not supposed to lift up anything over 20 pounds right now, oh. so if she were here, <laughs> man, that would be too much. You'd be pushed. <sighs> <sighs> Your babs made me My tear God, a stitch. <laughs> too, Tits. Much, too much babs. <laughs> All right, and the dream comes true. Pot-infused pizza sauces come to marijuana dispensaries. God. <laughs> Holy fuck. LA-based Pody Pizza has started selling jars of pot-infused pizza sauce at marijuana dispensaries in Los Angeles, San Francisco, Washington State, and Colorado. That's amazing. Each five-ounce jar of Pody Pizza sauce sells for $20 and contains 300 milligrams of medical cannabis per jar, enough for one large pizza or two smaller ones. That's expensive for pizza sauce. Holy fuck. Steve Thomas, Pody Pizza's vice president, says you can eat three slices and be fully medicated. Medicated. In <laughs> medicated. I love how that's their terminology. This jar's gonna get you fucked up! <laughs> yeah, that would have been a much better yeah. quote. This jar will medicate the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> have some pepper, some pepperoni and fucking psychedelic pizza, bro. <laughs> you, you wanna get insane? Grind some mushrooms up on that. <laughs> Oh, oh god. my god. A pepperoni mushroom pizza. You're gonna trip balls for days. <laughs> Four days. You got any leftovers? Uh, yeah, don't touch the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this pizza's really good. I'm taking a shower. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> this pizza's great. Oh, we can't go out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is that is the easiest way to, uh, like, stop world hunger. 
<laughs> just, just make all the like one person will sit down and eat a pizza by himself because <laughs> every slice gives you the munchies. <laughs> All right. Uh, We're going to finish this off with the brownies. No, bad idea. <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> Steve, what was his name? Steve Johnson? Something like that. Very close. Uh, <laughs> he just flies over Africa. He's like, weed pizza. <laughs> medicated pizza. <laughs> medicated all. pizza. Yeah. Yeah, it's medicated pizza. You'll yeah. be fully medicated. <laughs> wow, I am stuffed and medicated. <laughs> Africa, like, just revolts. They start getting, like, dreadlocks. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> welcome to the oh comma podcast the most racist podcast all right good because i'm getting really tired oh <laughs> poor baby it's so sleepy i am i'm really oh. sleepy oh. so that'll oh, do it for this episode oh that's it yep <laughs> <laughs> we had four more stories but you're just like you're tired so we're done <laughs> no we're, yeah. we're actually done now. oh okay yeah. cut out a lot <laughs> I, I cut out a few <laughs> We have a time restraint to keep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, That's funny. yeah. Time restraint. Um, yeah. So follow us on all the normal things for Sam and Andy. This is Matt signing out.